Hi, hello, welcome back to another video. In this one, I will be decorating the first part of the layout I made in a video a couple days ago. The response to that first video has been crazy, and I'm really grateful for all the positive reception that's been receiving. I decided the name level Carousel after the outro song I've been using, and I think I can make that fit the level somehow. And hopefully I can do something alright with this. I think I'm gonna keep the background color for now. I have like a couple ideas, but I really don't have a lot. Speeding up this first part, because I spend forever to come up with a design, I start with this like sort of layered outline idea that I've used multiple different times. And I make like a side outline background color and then these two different other outline colors. And I want to feed those into a different design, so I spend a while trying to come up with a good design for that. And I end up deleting it later, because I just really don't like it. But you can still see my design process here. Like, I had kind of an idea of what I was doing, but it just really sucked. So I mess around with that a bit more, try to get like half decent thing going. I try to make a spike design here. I go to make really small spikes, but those look weird. I go to do like invisible spikes, but that looks very weird too. So I'm just sticking with solid spikes for the design for that part. Mess around with the color with this, end up putting it back to normal because I don't like it. Actually these outlines are too thin, I think. So what I'll do is take this, take one of these. Okay, yeah, this is a nice little trick. So you have like the one 3D outline. You copy paste it, make something behind it, scaled up to like that. You have like a little outline, but it's not like even if you look close. So if you just one little tap up, copy paste, tap tap, pretty even outline. I can use this in place for these. And it already looks better, it's awesome. <laughs> So I put that outline for the rest of the block, make thicker outlines on the side, and then I go to try to detail these blocks, and I spend forever messing around with different details. I try this little flower pattern, looks horrible, so I delete it immediately. And it's just a lot of trial and error here. So for anyone who's like unsure of getting into creating, or is like, oh, I can never do it, just like sit down, experiment. Something will eventually look alright, I promise. It works for me. A little life hack with blocks. I'll show it up here. If you take a slope, make it a bit darker, and then take it, rotate it around, make it 50, 0.5, make sure it's layered properly. So this blocks on Z layer 3, this one can be on 4, this can also be on 4, but you take it, copy paste it, rotate it around itself again, make sure it's 5 so it's over the 4 there, and make it this color. And it's kind of like beveled, if that's the right term. I think I'll use this here which is kind of cheap but i think it looks okay it provides nice contrast between that i cut a lot of footage here but i fiddled around with the spike design for a bit before realizing that keeping it solid and just putting a thick outline behind it like i did with the other outlines would look better i make some 3d with slopes that i later delete and then i copy and paste this design everywhere thinking that i'm going to use it but i later delete that as well so it's kind of boring but yeah, I copy and paste this design here, realize this looks bad after messing around with it some more, so I delete it, and then just extend that structure out. And then I realize here that I can just do something really cool. I could totally just make this super connected. I think that'd look a lot nicer. And these stupid structures, I'd get rid of them. No one cares. Spend some time here making custom pads with these objects, and it turns out pretty alright. I think people will be able to sight read this. Make that one, make the slide over one, and it's a connected pad. So cool. There's going to be a lot of time lapse in this video because it's just a lot of copy and pasting this design everywhere to structure the part. Another trick is when you rotate this around, it won't usually align right. But if you put it here, it's just like really inconsistent. So before rotating it, I like to just surround it in blocks. So it rotates a very specific way because it rotates just the four blocks here, and it gets rotated properly. So I think a nice easy way to make glow is to take this piece, scale to the two, oh, scale to two, take this piece, half space it up, this mini space it to the right, and it fits right above a normal block. And then I have four and five as color channels, so I'll go and I'll make new color channel to copy for, blending, and then I get like nice opacity for it. And then I can do the same for group five here. I don't think I need a shadow at this point in time. Maybe tone these both down a bit to like slightly less than half. Just a nice subtle glow. I think another little thing I can do here is put these like pulsing blocks, put it up 
T3 so it's above everything. Make it fairly long. Down a bit. Put on the ceiling. I can give it a group. And then for later, I can give this one a group, this one a group. I move 10 back minus, let's say 130. And right here, I can lock player X for pretty much ever. Playing a normal mode, a little pulse on ground. Adds a little bit of energy. And then I can move it up for this part, that'd be cool. I go to make yellow jump pads for this part, but I <laughs> accidentally forget to change the color of one of them and it causes some issues, which is kind of funny. But I get it right eventually. And then I go to make simplistic design behind all the orbs, which I end up making a lot more detailed later, but this is just like a little base for now. Really basic too. And then I go to make some ground spikes here. Struggle with it for a bit. It's an okay idea. Like I go to make this sort of like layered idea, but it ends up looking really bad and being like not fun to play because it just juts out. Let's change it to these blocks, which I end up changing again later, but, you know. And then I spend the next little while copy and pasting everything around, and I go dead silent for a good, like, 20 minutes here while I make this. So, I might as well talk about other things. I've been considering making a Discord server again, because I've made multiple in the past, and they've all kind of just died for different reasons. But I think it'd be nice to make a community Discord server based around like my YouTube community and sort of not take it as seriously as I've taken Discord servers in the past. Because I have made Discord servers for level requests and I've taken them way too seriously. Which I think is why they've died like they have. So let me know in the comments if you would like a Discord server and I'll look into making another one. I still might do level requests but it just got to a point where it felt really pointless to do level reviews because nobody really cared about the reviews I was giving. So it's kind of demotivating. But if I do level requests in the future, I'll make sure to do it in like a fresh way that will be more enjoyable and will have people get things out of it. The designs look really like repetitive here and just too bright, but I end up doing something later that really helps it and I'm really proud of it actually. So just keep watching and see, oh my goodness. I think the ground spikes kind of suck. Especially for gameplay. I then immediately go into making pulses for whatever reason, and I try to do stuff with pulse triggers, but I realize that it doesn't fit the song at all. Wait, this part doesn't really work with pulses. So instead, I'll take this back in color, paste, have it cycle to that. I have it cycle through a couple colors and have the outline change colors too, but it looks kind of bad. It looks bad. It looks so bad. Oh my goodness. Maybe to make the colors better, I explained this really poorly at the time because it was like pretty late at night. But basically what I'm doing here is I'm making the original color channels, I'm making them copy the background color, and then I'm making it so that it's a lot brighter with slightly less saturation to it, so that it's linked to the background color. I later make one channel be plus 20 in hue and the other channel minus 20 in hue so that there's slight variation there, and it just makes for like easy and nice looking color combinations. So this color should be a lot better. And then for designs, I could definitely smack something over top of this, like a sort of pulsing square thing on T1, but high up. Oh, better idea. T2, just whatever, but I lost my train of thought after saying that, but I made this little shape and I put it other places as well. Maybe I should stop recording when I'm really tired because I clearly don't have anything to say about what I'm doing. And then for this, I can put a big X in the middle, or I don't even need a scale hack, but that size. This one, significantly smaller. Looking back at this footage, it took me a lot longer than I thought it did to do such simple things as, like, copy and paste this X around. Okay, and then I can take this, do that, scale down, and then immediately lose my train of thought again and just go to decorating, because I do that a lot in this video. But I start copy and pasting this line around to connect the little blocks, and it ends up looking alright. Pretty content with it. I could also add glow around it. Hmm. Maybe a different black group with 75? Mm, okay. I copy and paste this black glow around the squares, make smaller ones for the other shapes, and then I eventually make glow beams to go behind the lines connecting the blocks, and it looks pretty good. Free move is your best friend when doing stuff like this. It looks interesting. I could definitely make this like move up and down three Maybe down 7, 14, I'll put some even easing. I didn't suck the glow. 
It's neat. Maybe I can make the background a bit more dynamic. Come to the conclusion that these spikes are lame. I think it's mostly the being on the ground part that's not nice for this part. So I'll just extend it. And then for these, I can just, I like the wavy ones, just layer them a bit. Okay, I'm almost done with the designs, I think. Maybe I can do a bit more interesting of an orb design, actually. Instead of having these things behind it, I can make a big circle. And then this, this. And then maybe even like a piece of glow. Kind of silly. I think really quickly I'll make like sort of uh, indicators. I quickly copy and paste these everywhere the player rows as the spider game mode. All the indicators are too big, so I'm going to absolute scaling, select all these, scale them down like 60, select all this, scale these down, and then I can tie in more white to this level with, with like saws, I think. Maybe get a bit of white saws going on. Another little thing I can do is maybe take this, maybe take the top row of this, make this white. Yeah, this looks good, actually. I decided to make the ground spikes a little more interesting by scaling up these default spikes times two and adding them around in the ground here. Okay, I think that's enough for tonight. I'll continue the background tomorrow. Good night. Okay, I'm back. I've got a knee structuring over here, and then I'll work on a background. I was feeling a lot more motivated the next morning, but this still took me forever to structure everything. It's just a tedious process, I suppose. I continued this first thing the morning after waking up, so I was still pretty tired, but wasn't as tired as the night before. I think I'll also use these indicators to make a little trail for the dash warp here. That's good. I'll copy and paste some details around here to fill in the structures a bit more thoroughly, and that's about it for this little section. And then I think I can start working on the background. The idea I have for this is to make sort of like triangles. So you can like kind of see it, a little subtle thing, fill it in, copy and paste this around, give this a moving group and its own moving group. And then above it, I can start doing a little pattern. So I can have this thing. I could fill it with pulsing objects and copy and paste this in a pattern. Have this have the same moving group, a different moving group too. So I can take 15, Move it back like 140, have it locked to the player around here forever, but then have 16 move backwards for a certain speed and then 17 move backwards twice as fast. This is okay. I think I just need to add a bit more depth to it. I spend the next little bit copy and pasting this pillar around and then deleting that and adding a bit of variation in how it looks. And then I go and struggle with making glow behind it for a bit, but I finally decide to put like glow balls behind the pillars and then just lines of glow between the lines. And it adds a lot of like much needed depth in the background so that it's not so flat and blended in like it looked before. So I'm happy with this. I think one last thing I can do is maybe make this a bit darker again. And then for transition out, make the background black to two and then i can toggle off 15 here because it'll be invisible another thing i did was add white strips between the structures and the background to give a bit of like depth again and then i made a big black screen to cover the entire level fade 18 out at the beginning one last little detail i want to add is maybe like get one of these on that black group put on every orb because yeah for future parts in this level i have ideas for like rotating backgrounds and rotating everything just to fit the name of carousel better but yeah i think that's it for this part i might come back to this and change it a bit more but for now i'm pretty content with it so i'll just show what i've made so far and then yeah So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. If you have any feedback for what I've done, leave in the comments. I'll probably listen to some of it. <laughs> thank you for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.